Hello, Scientific Sock here. This is a video response to Yes, a Vegetarian Dog by Onision. As you can see, I am not a dog and therefore I have a voice of my own, my own opinions and more importantly, I have the ability to say no for myself. Dogs do not possess freedom of speech and therefore cannot object to the idea of giving it an enforced diet based on your morals and ideals. Let us not simply call this video stupid without backing it up with some hard facts. We are also gifted with the ability to research and also read, well, some of us anyway. Firstly, Onision, take your dog to a park and present it with two plates. One should be full of raw or cooked meat and the second should be a plate of juicy, yummy carrots. Let your dog loose and see which plate he devours first. Yes, he may well tuck into the carrots after he's eaten the meat and yes, you may use this to support your argument of dogs being omnivorous, but it is a myth. The website rawfed.com states, The assumption that dogs are natural omnivores remains to be proven, whereas the truth about dogs being natural carnivores is well supported by the evidence available to us. So, let's look at some evidence. If we observe this picture showing average canine dentition, we will see that dogs lack the large molars you will find in true omnivores. The incisors are designed for grabbing, ripping, tearing and shredding meat. Rawfed.com quotes the book Mammalogy, Adaption, Diversity and Ecology as saying, They are not equipped with large flat molars for grinding up plant matter. The molars are pointed and situated in a scissors bite that powerfully disposes of meat, bone and hide. These molars are called carnassial teeth and aren't present in true omnivorous animals. The evolutionary process ensures the teeth are structured specifically for the diet of any animal. Continuing with the physiological aspects of the argument, dog skulls are built for hunting, bringing down and chewing meat. This is down to a heavy skull and jaw and neck muscles that they possess purely for this purpose. They are shaped to prevent lateral movement of the lower jaw when capturing prey struggles. This shape permits an up and down crushing motion, whereas omnivores and herbivores allow for the lateral motion necessary to grind plant matter. Dogs also have the internal anatomy of a carnivore, including highly elastic stomachs designed to hold large quantities of meat, a relatively short foregut, and their digestive system is designed to pass food through quickly. Plant matter takes much longer to digest, meaning omnivores have larger and longer small intestines. Dogs do not produce amylase in their saliva, which is necessary to start the breakdown of carbohydrates and starches found in omnivorous diets. Dogs do not produce amylase in their saliva, which is necessary to start the breakdown of carbohydrates and starches found in omnivorous diets. This forces the pancreas of the dog to work overtime in order for the dog to be able to digest starchy food instead of producing the normal enzymes needed to digest proteins and fats. A dog's dentition, internal and external anatomy and physiology say that they are true carnivores. Of course, no one here is slating a vegetarian or vegan diet for the dog that needs it due to medical reasons such as allergies or intolerances. However, vet Dr Benjamin Davis talking to UPR US News says, For most dogs, there is little advantage to going vegan, as even animals suffering from food allergies risk missing out on essential proteins, vitamins and minerals that come from meat products. You may counter this by saying that these nutrients can be replaced using synthetic substitutes. However, it becomes more expensive and less reliable to do it this way. For example, plants also contain phytates, substances which can bind calcium and trace minerals, lowering their bioavailability, which means that although the levels of certain minerals meet nutritional needs on paper, they cannot be properly absorbed and used by the animal. Dognutrition.com says... There are adjustments in the AAFCO dog and cat nutrient profiles to account for decreases in bioavailability of nutrients, but these are made on the assumption that both animal and plant source ingredients are used. You need to be asking yourself, why are you choosing to feed this diet to your dog? And given the arguments already stated, and barring medical reasons, that leaves simply your ethics and morals, as your dog cannot communicate its thoughts on its diet. So, we're down to ethics. 
If killing a thousand chickens over one dog's lifespan is unethical, then what of the over-farming that will inevitably come from the change in every dog's diet across the globe? The increase in farming that would be needed to produce vegetarian food for an approximate 400 million dogs worldwide would result in either a significant loss in greenbelt land due to over farming or loss of available land currently used for maintaining the world's overpopulation of humans who already can't feed themselves. Not to mention the fact that these foods are made at considerable cost due to the addition of supplementary vitamins and minerals and therefore would need to be produced using cheap methods already proven to be damaging to the environment such as pesticides. Finally, many studies compiled regarding vegetarian or vegan diets for dogs have been sponsored by societies and food manufacturers in favour of said diets. According to dogfoodcorner.com, there is no proof that dogs on a vegetarian or vegan diet will live longer. And while feeding this kind of diet may have some benefits, it is a fact that there are several illnesses that are connected with vegetarian diets such as dilated cardiomyopathy, urinary tract infections and ear infections. We hope that this video hasn't been a tedious lecture or a personal attack on anyone's dietary choices. As dog owners ourselves, we hope that it has been informative in your choice of what to feed your dog. If you are concerned with or are considering changing your dog's diet, please consult your vet who will be able to answer all of your questions. This has been Scientific Sock. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!